Hey guys, this is Andres Mirnov for the Fast Lane Truck, and I caught up with the head of Mercedes Benz van division to talk about this all new 2016 Mercedes Benz mattress van. Mercedes thinks it's the right size for the market. It's not as big as the full size vans, and it's bigger than the smaller vans. And we got an almost everything you want to know segment coming up for you right now. My name is Bernie Glazer. I'm the Vice President and Managing Director for Vans USA. Well, thanks for being with TFL Truck. Thanks for having me. So this is an all-new entry for the American market, right? It's the 2016 Metris. Can you tell me, you know, what's going on with this van? Yeah, we're really excited to bring the 2016 Metris to the United States. This is the all-new mid-size van from Mercedes-Benz. It's going to launch October 1 as a 16 model. Starting price of the uh, Mercedes-Benz Metris will be in the cargo version of 28,950. This is a very aggressive price point for Mercedes-Benz, and we're really excited to bring that car to the US. Okay, so. So this is not as big as a printer, obviously. So where does it fit? Where you know, it fit in market? we think it's the right size concept. Uh, we also say the next big thing is here, and it's mid-size. Okay. So size-wise, if you want to compare it, it's about 21 inches lower than a Sprinter. But if you want to compare it to maybe a car which you're more familiar with, like the GL from Mercedes-Benz, it's about two inches shorter and about an inch higher than a GL. So it fits in any garage, and that's the big advantage of this mattress. So the, the contractor... Garage. Standard garage, the contractor who drives that, that mattress can put it overnight and park it in any garage or take it to any job site and put it in, uh, drive it into a garage. Okay, so what's under the hood? We have a very fuel efficient four cylinder turbo under there, under the, the hood, it's the M274. Yeah. Uh, it, it puts out 208 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. Okay. Again, it's turbo, four cylinder gasoline engine, it's made it to a seven speed transmission. It's going to be very fuel efficient, powerful, torquey engine. Is it going to be EPA rated or what's the rating? It's going to be EPA rated. We don't have EPA rating yet. Uh, we expect a high in the high 20s in EPA rating. We don't have it yet. That's really good. Um, so what versions are, are there? Is there cargo and passenger? Yes, we'll bring. We'll keep the lineup pretty simple in the beginning. We'll bring two versions in here for our dealers to sell. There will be a cargo version and will be a passenger version. The cargo version starts at 28,950. The passenger van is an up to eight seater and it starts at 32,500. Okay. And um, this is a rear wheel drive platform, correct? Yes, <clears throat> it's a rear wheel drive only for the United States. Again, a four cylinder uh, gasoline engine, seven speed transmission, rear wheel drive. Comes in one length, one roof height, uh, pretty straightforward uh, setup for our dealers and for our okay. customers. And is there going to be a diesel available? <clears throat> you know, not initially. Uh, we'll see what the demand okay. does. Uh, but right now, we we'll start with the gasoline engine. Again, we think it's the right engine for uh, the metros because the, you know the usage is more in metropolitan, suburban, urban areas okay. where we think a gasoline engine is a perfect fit. I mean, this is it's a very proven, a very reliable engine from the Mercedes-Benz family. Yeah. Internally, we call it the M274 and we adapted it to commercial use. One big advantage of our mattress is the towing capability. Okay. The mattress can tow 5,000 pounds. So we adapted you know, the, the, the drive lines and the, uh, the, motor, the engine drive uh, characteristics okay. to the commercial use. So that's one adaptation which we did. Another one which is really important in the commercial field also, uh, the mattress can actually be filled with just regular gas and uh, that's a very important point for us okay. as well. Because in the end, you know, total cost of ownership, that's the important thing in the commercial field. Um, and, and that brings us maybe to one more thing, that's the maintenance interval. Yeah. We have a 15,000 mile maintenance interval on our engine, on our, on, on our mattress, which, which I think plays in very nicely into the total cost of ownership uh, calculation. And, um there are a lot of uh, safety and driver assist technologies in this. Can you go over <coughs> some of yeah, them? Yeah, absolutely. So the Mercedes-Benz Matters comes standard already with a couple of really innovative safety f features, which are industry leading and benchmarks. So it comes standard with the crosswind assist, which is basically using the ESP sensors on the car and it keeps you straight. Uh, imagine you're driving over a bridge with high crosswinds mm -hmm. and the ESP just torques you in and you just keep straight like on rails. Mm -hmm. That's standard on our, all of our mattresses. And it also comes standard with an innovation which is called attention assist. And that's a the drowsiness detector. So if you're mm -hmm. falling asleep or close to falling asleep on a steering wheel, then the, the engine or the, the, the car actually gives you an alert into in, in, uh, in the instrument cluster to tell you you should take a break. Mm -hmm. So these 
these are standard features on our car and then we have optional features on the car which are really amazing for the commercial field. We have a parking assist stand, uh, available on the car, we have the lane keeping assist with two cameras mounted up here on the windscreen okay. available on the car. We have a blind spot monitor, a reverse camera, uh, we have a, 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 a navigation system available on the car, so a lot of really safety features yeah, are available. Even you know, higher end features. Absolutely, yeah. Right? yeah. So, I mean, we think this is the, the real deal. It's the perfect package here in the midsize segment. Uh, and we think, if you look at our customers, you know, we think the split between a cargo van and passenger van, we think that the passenger van will do really well. We almost think it's going to be a 50-50% okay. split. Uh, because if you just think <clears throat> passenger vans will be very popular with hotel shuttle, limo companies, executive shuttle transportation type of uh, businesses. So we are uh, pretty confident that we'll achieve a high share of our passenger van here. Anything I missed? <laughs> well, I think we're really excited. Uh, we think we will put another benchmark product out there for Mercedes-Benz. You know, the Sprinter is the benchmark in the Euro-style van, in the large van segment. So we think we really have a success story with the Sprinter. And our intention is to, to repeat the success story now in the midsize van segment. And I think uh, the midsize metros just offer so much more than the small, uh, uh, the small uh, vans out there on the market right now. But it still is very agile and it fits in every garage so it's it's size wise very 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 good so what about competition is there anything <coughs> on the current market that may compete with this you know right now if you look at the mid-size segment in the united states there's only one van available uh, and that goes away so actually okay. this is a perfect spot for us to be Maybe out a there good time. and this is a perfect time for us okay. so october 1 come to our showroom okay so, and briefly, can you mention uh, how the payload and volume compares? Yeah, um, um, top of my head, uh, it's about 50% more payload than some of the traditional smaller vans mm -hmm. uh, and substantially more cargo volume as well, up to 40-50% more cargo volume. Um, if you compare them to the uh, full-size van, obviously uh, it's, it's smaller than that. But again, the advantage of the mid-size van is that you can bring it home and park it overnight in a standard garage. I hope you enjoyed this almost everything you wanted to know segment about the all new 2016 Metris. We have other videos with this van. So go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews. Hey guys, this is Andre Smirnov for the Fast Lane Truck and I'm in beautiful Dunton Hot Springs, Colorado. It's between Durango and Telluride. And Mercedes-Benz invited TFL truck here to test their commercial vans. And we had to choose this one. This is a 4x4 version of this Sprinter. It's a 2015. And Nathan gave you a little preview of it a few months ago. And we have a chance to drive it on-road and off-road. But that's a whole nother video and a whole other review that's coming soon.